Here's King CK on his run. Can he stick the landing? Oh, he makes the 360. This video is brought to you by Demon VPS. Use code OIO for 10% off your next Minecraft server or VPS order. Hey everyone, it's King Sika here. Welcome to another updatey slash vloggy-ish video. Um, this one I don't really know what the hell I'm going to title it, but let's get this party started. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you one of our newest projects, a big fancy project now, which I'll pop a picture up of the die map picture right about now. We are making a ski resort. Yes. Uh, due to my trip to Aspen, a few of you guys might have watched the vlog series, which I actually took down just because I got frustrated trying to edit them, and if I wasn't going to have all five vlogs up, then there was no real point for me to post them. So here we got our little ski lift. We got our ski pass. Um, actually, the lift is turned off one second. Try to turn that back on and see if that works. No, it does not. Stupid voxel port. One second. I will pause the video due to minor technical difficulties. All right, now we are back. I've gone ahead and set our our um, button for our lift. We've gone ahead and turned on our lift. You can guys can hear the lift engine's running. Uh, we will go ahead and hopefully it'll take my pass. Okay, this worked perfectly when I wasn't running it without the test. So come on. Really, nothing. This is fantabulous. Gotta love the faulty plugins. Well, long story short, uh, that's supposed to go ahead and warp us up to the top. It takes away your pass and blah, blah, blah. It gets you all the way up here. And so essentially you'll appear up here. Uh, this is, we've, I'm still fighting the name right now. I'm trying to figure out if I want Crystal Base Camp or Elk Camp. Uh, Elk Camp based off of Aspen or Snowmass more or less. Um, and you know, over here we got the Village Express lift. Uh, and up here we got the gondola as well, which I'll get into in a little bit of detail. Got a little snowmobile right here. Best thing I could whip up without, without it looking ginormous, which this one already does look a little bit big. But that was a small of a snowmobile that I could get with quite a bit of detail on it. So, now we are up here. This is the kind of base station area. The Since this is a relatively small hill, but at the same time it is kind of large, um, size-wise it's very big in terms of how much space and blocks it takes up. It's like a good 500, 600 meters in length. So it is a pretty big ski hill. I haven't measured the vertical descent and it is turning night, so I'm going to go ahead and kick it to daytime for us. Uh, over here we got the ski school, got a little sled right there, and then I went ahead and built a little e igloo for the kids to play around in. Got a little area, don't eat the yellow snow, that's bad. It's lemonade snow, it tastes delicious, especially, never mind. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and furnish this whole area, it'll look similar to the ski school desk area where I work. Um, this building looks nothing like the building that we work out of, though ours is underneath the house and it's not going to get into semantics. Um, but up here is the kind of chalet-ish area and a lot of mountains have this. I know uh, Whistler has the rendezvous chalet and finally paintings are actually appearing. I don't know if any of you guys have this glitch in 1.5 uh, where paintings won't appear but I was having issues trying to paste, place paintings. Um, but I know Whistler has the rendezvous chalet. Um, Aspen has the elk camp chalet. I'm going to also make like a big base camp thingy. Um, but yeah, right in here you kind of got all your little food area. You can get drinks, little uh, ice stuff like frozen food, get custom food made here at the grill, and then you check out, go sit down. You kind of get the picture. A lot of places have it. And then right here, I'm going to hopefully have another pass system. I'm going to have it either kick you out of pass right here or make one. Then I'm gonna, I haven't had time to sync this up with Voxel Port yet, um, but you'll long story short, you'll hop onto a gondola, and they'll take you up this massive mountain. So essentially, the whole entire ski resort uh, part of this, and look at the uh, size of that pole. That clearly looks legit. Um, but actually there are a few ski hills that do have quite a high gondolas like that. Um, but yeah, so you'll essentially get all the way up here to this unnamed gondola. That's another fun little question for you guys. If you guys can think of a good name for some of the, the lifts, we have three lifts that have yet to be named. The gondola, uh, the main lift that you, I was showing you guys, and the one on the other side over by that jump. Um, right up here I'm going to make another little restaurant-y kind of heating shack. It'll be up here at the top. This is the highest point on the mountain you can get via lifts. I actually thought the gondola turned out really good. Um, 
originally the concept idea I had ran it past uh, Chris and actually Murrow as well. Murrow is helping along with the project along with Chris Ford and the Wolf Minded, I'm just going to call him from now on. Um, I ran it past them. I was sitting there talking and I essentially it was like me and Murrow were like, hey, let's make a ski resort town. I'm like, we're all for this. We're all getting ready. Like, we're going to make it Alps-ish themed. It was going to be really cool. Um, and we found a spot on Ohio, and all of a sudden we realized, oh my god, this is going to take years of terraforming. So I went ahead and hit up my buddy over at Wolfmine. And I'll put, well, you guys know how to find his channel. I'm, almost all of you guys are subscribed to him as well. Um, but yeah, so I pretty much hit him up. I'm like, hey, could you do me a mega favor? And I asked him to go ahead and use World Painter, and he painted us up this fantabulous ski resort, and it is amazing. I couldn't, I definitely couldn't have done this. Um, but yeah, we'll actually go ahead and ski down this run. And actually go ahead and mess with my movement speed here so that way I don't fly down this at high speeds. Let's go with modifier. But um flying speed with mod no wait, flying speed in general is the one I want down. So we'll just go ahead and turn those down. So that way while I'm flying down the the hill, it won't seem like I'm flying that fast. There we go. Nah, it's still going pretty fast. Um but yeah, essentially I asked him to go ahead and make us a ski hill. He went ahead and whipped it up in World Painter. As you can see, he's already done uh, one himself. He's actually doing, like, he's gone through and changed it three or four times uh, for him. I've just kind of been, like, happy with what we got because this has definitely turned out really cool. You can even see how you can kind of ski through a lot of the trees. Uh, we're going to have snowmobiles. This whole area is going to have, like, a big kind of mountainish town. Uh, Merle went ahead and draw, drew out a plan, and if I can find it, I'll go ahead and put a picture of it up on screen. If I can't, sorry about that. Um, Right now, that's just kind of the only building. And then we also have uh, KJ went ahead and sort of put a rail network in here. Me and Merle want to make a really cool, fancy old steam train. Uh, over here is the airport, which if you guys want to fly into here, uh, it's a full-size runway that I measured it out. Perfect to land a DC, or not DC, uh, DC-3, I guess you could say. Uh, but it can barely land a dash eight or smaller, pretty much. It is a very small runway because I went ahead online. I was looking up the meter specifications for the smallest possible runway that could land an air, like certain size aircraft. And I was like, okay, well, this is a tiny, like, you'd be surprised. Go ahead and look and find out how small it can land. And most of them are about 300 meters in length almost. Well, that's bigger aircraft, I should say. Um, but most like the dash eight is like 124 meters or something like that, which that's longer than GAN, and that's that's a big ship. So, um, but yeah, so essentially this is the newest project. I'll keep you guys updated with it. Hopefully, another part two video uh, later on once you guys can start to see the town take place. Uh, we'll get to spend a lot of time making really cool hotels. I cannot wait. I want to make some really cool log rustic themed hotels uh, over here. Merle went ahead and started putting in some cabins. Um, I'm still trying to debate whether or not we want to furnish everything. Uh, if you are interested in doing furnishing work for us, we are looking for some people who are willing to do furnishing inside of ships and cabins, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, over here is actually the other lift, which is going to be a little bit different. And we're actually going to name this, this whole lift section is going to be much different uh, because this whole side is going to be the terrain park and kind of more uh, expert level themed area. And actually this whole area, I don't even think it's been really done yet. Uh, my section of the ski resort though, um, which Chris helped out actually a ton after he had done the map too. And actually this whole lift section still has to be done. I think I'm going to have to build like a whole base area right here to get the lift off and it won't be a high speed lift like I've designed the other four. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just rambling on about lifts and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for it, feel free to check it out. Um, I might have, I might try to leave the dying map on so you guys can check that out on the website so you guys can keep track and I can watch progress of us building it. Um, at the moment, I'm currently the only one working on the project in that, and I am bouncing back and forth between uh, Queen Mary and this, and it's dry, like it's work. I'm working my ass off on that, and I'm also working on Epic as well, um, which is if you guys are actually still watching, <laughs> you'll be able to tell and flip shit. Uh, just don't try to leave it in the comments for those who click away right away. But yeah, so that pretty much covers it. Uh, like I said, know anyone who's interested in making furniture kind of, or well furnishing inside of buildings and that kind of nature. Please get in touch with me because I need uh, a lot of you guys and I'm going to need you guys right away. Actually, even architects in general, but I think Murrow uh, is actually pretty excited to do a lot of the buildings throughout here because it's going to look really good when it's all said and done. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, a huge thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.